Ever wonder what makes special sauce so special? Yo. The world of fast food is full of all kinds of oddities that were meant to drive traffic into the store. Some of those oddities become fan favorites, and they stick around as long as there's a demand for them. Sometimes those items fall flat, and that's what we're going to talk about in this list of the 10 biggest fast food failures of all time, part three. You know, fast food shortens your life. McDonald's McLean Deluxe. Vegetables and lean meats, yo, yo, yo. Anyone who goes to McDonald's to eat healthily is fooling themselves. It's like someone saying they smoke light cigarettes to give their lungs a break. You go to McDonald's to fill up on all of life's guilty pleasures. You know what we're talking about, salt, fat, and sugar. Those three things represent all the major cravings that McDonald's soothes in one bite. Why would anyone go to the Golden Arches without the desire to have their arteries clogged bite after bite? It seems like a cruel joke to play on someone by offering them healthy fast food. Yeah? Can you read my mind? Can you tell what I'm thinking right now? I'm thinking shut up and get a salad. But McDonald's is guilty of doing some pretty bizarre things, just like every other restaurant in its category. Are you sitting down for this? The McLean Deluxe was McDonald's attempt at serving health food. The burger boasted 91% less fat than other premium sandwiches. That sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? Well, it seems that fat is where the flavor is. You can't take away all the fat and produce something that tastes that great. McDonald's also put some seasonings in it derived from seaweed. Nothing says out of control health kick like adding seaweed to a burger. The sandwich wasn't a hit, and it quickly faded away into obscurity. If you washed down the sandwich with a Diet Coke, you could kind of try to fool yourself into thinking you were eating healthy. Dairy Queen Breeze. I'll treat you to a Dairy Queen. We couldn't let McDonald's stand out in the cold as the only fast food giant who decided to go healthy on us. Dairy Queen, we're looking at you. No one goes to Dairy Queen with the intent of eating a healthy meal. How can you dip your chicken tender in gravy and expect it to be anything other than unhealthy? It looks like there are some people who might stop there for only a sweet treat and nothing else. Nope, those people aren't weirdos. They're ordinary people who can somehow look past the delicious burgers and only see a sweet and delightful treat. Those people have the willpower to conquer almost anything. Is this the Dairy Queen? Dairy Queen released a product called The Breeze that wasn't a big hit. Shocker? It shouldn't be considering that this was a healthier version of a blizzard. The Breeze used frozen yogurt instead of soft serve ice cream. We know. Don't get mad at the messenger, though. How could you do anything so crazy as to sell something without their world famous soft serve? Chalk it up to a bright idea made by someone probably sitting in a giant corner office who probably brought yogurt to work every day for lunch. A blizzard without their delicious ice cream is like a cone without dip. And don't get us started on people who don't like their cones dipped in chocolate. Taco Bell's Bell Beefer. Hey, this isn't Taco Bell. These days, Taco Bell wants you to think outside the bun. But there was once a time when they wanted you to think very much inside the bun. The Bell Beefer was one of their first menu items. It came back in the 90s and fizzled out once again. You don't go to Taco Bell for a burger. You go there because you want something that isn't a burger. It's kind of like ordering the cheeseburger while getting Chinese takeout. Sure, it's on the menu, but that doesn't mean you have to order it. The reason it's on the menu is that there's that one oddball who ate glue in school who won't eat anything at all foreign to them. That one guy is the reason why burgers end up on menus where they seem so out of place. I don't know. I, I haven't felt this out of place since that week I lived with Superman. It may come as a surprise to some of you that the Bell Beefer has a cult following online. Could it be because of its name? Say Bell Beefer five times in a row while trying not to laugh. Go ahead, give it a shot, and see what happens. There's something funny about the name Bell Beefer, but that wasn't enough to get the sandwich to stick around. Want to try the Bell Beefer today? Then you'll have to order a side of Taco Bell's ground beef, a little cheese, and some onions to put on a hamburger bun while at home. And try not to choke from laughing too hard while saying Bell Beefer while you eat your homemade monstrosity. Pizza Hut Priazzo. Who's Jennifer Pizza Hut Big Boob's bad face? How can a company who churns out delicious pies release anything that isn't a total hit? Pizza Hut launched what many think of as a dud with the Priazzo. What is the Priazzo, you ask? It's Chicago-style deep dish pizza. No, don't you call it a casserole now. Deep dish is pizza, and all those people in Chicago know it. Can't we allow hungry eaters to decide what is a pizza and what isn't? Hopefully the one thing we can all agree on is that pizza should never be eaten with a knife and fork. Why are you using a knife and a fork? Did, did you just think of that? No, I've seen people do it. What's next? Are we going to extend our pinky finger while taking a sip of cola with that pizza? Anyways, what was the problem with the Priazzo? It certainly wasn't the flavor since it was a hit with the pizza eating community. The problem was one that Pizza Hut should have seen coming, and that was the fact that the pizza took far too long to make. The pizza was expensive to produce and it wasn't exactly a cinch for the people in the kitchen to whip up. 
Pizza Hut isn't fast food like its Yum! brand's cousins KFC and Taco Bell, but customers still expect their pies to come to the table within a decent amount of time. Pizza Hut nicks the Priazzo when delivery time suffered, leaving many hungry people to scramble to find a comparable deep dish pizza. This could be the excuse you're looking for to plan that trip to Chicago. Frito Burrito by Taco Bell. This burrito is delicious, but it is filling. Anything with Fritos in it has to be good, right? How many of you ate taco boats as a kid that had Fritos instead of taco shells? If you've never had it, then you've never lived, frankly. A taco boat is one of those things that changes a person's life. Forget all of the things that people claim changes their lives like getting married or having kids. No. Fritos served up with seasoned beef, tomatoes, cheese, onions, and sour cream will impact your life like nothing else can. If you aren't from the American Southwest, then you probably don't know anything about Frito pie either. It's another concoction that features satisfying Mexican flavors with the added crunch of Fritos. Munch a bunch of Fritos! Should hang their head in sorrow. It was a chili cheese burrito that also had Fritos in it. Did the chips get soggy? No, they didn't. Because how can you stare at something this delicious long enough for the chips to get soggy? You inhale the burrito pronto while wondering if it would make you look too greedy to get up and order another one right away. Sadly, you won't be ordering any of these delicious burritos anytime soon. Hopefully, Taco Bell will bring back this menu item. It could get us one step closer to world peace. Jack in the Box Frings. I want onion rings. It's a donut. Someone got paid to come up with this idea. And think about that the next time you're sitting at your job thinking about how much it sucks. Jack in the Box actually paid someone to come up with the idea of putting fries and onion rings in the same bag. Yes. The thing that seems to naturally happen to almost every restaurant that serves both onion rings and fries. You've had it happen to you at least a dozen times when you've found a fry in your onion rings or vice versa. Yo, what's going on with my fries? Someone had the idea to combine those together and sell it. The idea in itself isn't so bad as restaurants have been doing it for quite some time. The oddity is that someone at their corporate office had to present the idea as if it were unique. What's the worst part of this onion ring and fry combination? It was that they were called frings. Come on, can't you get any more original than that? Jack in the Box customers don't need to fret over the fact that this menu item is long gone. If you really want some frings, then just ask for an order of both onion rings and fries. Mix up the two side dishes and feel like you're a culinary artist. Don't say the word frings around your friends, or they'll just think that you need to be put in a straitjacket and committed. Trust us on that one. Burger King Enormous Omelette Sandwich This place makes the best sandwich in the world. Anyone fortunate enough to order breakfast at a Burger King knows they have some of the tastiest morning grub around. Who can deny that their sandwich is one of the most delicious breakfast sandwiches of all time? It can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with McDonald's McMuffin any day of the week. Yes, we know those are fighting words to some people. No one is saying that one is better than the other. We're just saying that the sandwich and all the other Burger King breakfast sandwiches are some mighty fine eating. But what was the problem with Burger King's enormous omelet sandwich? Well, it was enormous. And I think it's better when they're enormous. Could that be a problem in today's world of supersized everything? Well, it apparently was to Burger King customers who felt that the sandwich should come with a life insurance policy. We won't bore you with all the nutritional information about the sandwich. Let's just say that it packed far too many calories than what the average fast food customer can stomach. That's saying a lot, but anyone who expects differently from a sandwich that has enormous in its name has lost touch with reality. McDonald's Arch Deluxe. God damn it, McDonald's again! Do you ever go to McDonald's and want a more sophisticated sophisticated burger? No, you don't. No one does. And McDonald's didn't realize that. The 90s were ripe with companies doing all kinds of crazy stuff that make people scratch their heads to this day. Fruitopia? Was that just a knockoff of Snapple? Oh, let's just not get into that debate here, as we're not looking to pick a fight with anyone. However, McDonald's whiffed big time with his Arch Deluxe sandwich. Sure, it was a flavor bomb of satisfaction for anyone who was seeking sophistication. The problem was, no McDonald's customers were seeking such a thing. Are you watching this in a country outside of the United States of America? If so, then you may have seen the Arch Deluxe on the menu at your local McDonald's. What does that say about the people of your country? It means that you're ready for McDonald's to get all sophisticated on you. Hey, thanks. Are you my therapist? Take a walk. 
anyone who can get the Arch Deluxe should consider themselves living in an advanced society where the palates of people are very refined. But this sandwich sticks out as a dud since McDonald's spent so much money promoting it. Shouldn't they have seen this coming? You can't blame Ronald McDonald for wanting to expand the flavor horizons of his customers. You can, however, wonder if he got a little too close to the grill before thinking it was a good idea to release this sandwich to the public. Who knows, maybe 50 years down the line, we'll all be sophisticated enough to enjoy this culinary masterpiece. Wendy's Frescata. Welcome to Wendy's, can I take your order please? Let me handle this. You can't blame Wendy's for wanting to cash in on the freshness craze. Subway at the time was seen as a healthy alternative to fast food that the public seemed to take hold of. It didn't hurt that Subway sandwich shops were popping up all over the place. And it wouldn't be long before there were more Subway restaurants than McDonald's. Wendy's rolled out the Frescata sandwich and received lackluster feedback about them. The public seemed to like having a healthier alternative. Doctor, these people are healthy and they are happy. But the drawback was that they took longer to prepare than the average burger. You go to fast food joints because, well, they're fast. It took too much time for the people in the kitchen to make a frescata. That's what pushed the sandwich off the menu in the long run. It might not have been a massive hit with the public, but it was the slowing down of delivery times of everything else that made the frescata go the way of the dodo bird. Burger King Burger Bundles No one loves cattle more than Burger King. Every burger joint wants to have a slider that's quick and easy to eat. Burger King is no different, and that's why they introduced Burger Bundles. Imagine enjoying Burger King's already delicious cheeseburgers, but in a smaller form. That's essentially what a burger bundle was, and it didn't take long before they became a hit. Those who liked these miniature burgers the most were college students and those on the go. It doesn't take a genius to figure out that a small sandwich is easier to eat while you're driving. It's easier, duh. It wouldn't be too surprising if many a trucker got a sack of burger bundles and munched on them in between talking on their CB radio while driving. So what did in the burger bundles? It was another case of corporate headquarters not understanding what it takes to prepare their food. The burgers were too small and would end up sliding off of the grill. Burger King is world famous for their charbroiled burgers, and the burgers would fall off the grill and into oblivion. The sandwiches proved far too difficult for kitchen staff to prepare, and they were eventually taken off the menu. It looks like if you've got a taste for sliders, the best and truly only place to get them is at White Castle. There's nothing wrong with a little fast food once or twice a meal. <laughs> Heart. Order up more by staying right here. Just tap on our next great video and show us some love by hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell to join our notification squad so you never miss out.